My name is Patrick Bitswing. I'm from Makosigigan, the First Nation, uh, in Call of Loon Lake, Saskatchewan. Uh, I kind of have a lot of role models, so I'll just name off a few. Some role models in my life are like uh, my auntie and uncle, who I take as a mom and dad, uh, Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor, Dr. Wayne Dyer, um, Iyanla, uh, Donovan Bailey, George St. Pierre, you know, just people that I've come across to learn their stuff through books, through, through media, and just through personal experience. To me, role, role models are important because they kind of leave a path for you to, like, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to get success at something, there's usually someone that done it before you, and they kind of leave like a blueprint for you to follow a path. And if you just model them, if you look at the word role model, it's like modeling uh, a role that they've done. So, role models are so important because it helps you figure out what you need to do by just kind of modeling off someone who's done it before you. Uh, Gen 7 program is really important because it really changes people's lives in terms of you know, not, not just physical activity, even though it's focused on physical activity. Uh, just to some, some of the stories I've heard is people grow into themselves and it, it's okay to be themselves and they, they see the power that they have inside of them and helps them create goals that they never thought they could achieve and help uh, kind of change the community around that there's, there's a lot of things that we can do as human beings. It's just pretty cool what Gen 7 has done. I think Gen 7 kind of came upon me like uh, at a really kind of perfect timing in my life where I wanted to figure out a, a vehicle that I could give back to you. For me, uh, physical activity and sports and culture has really been, if I was to attribute you know, what really helped me in my life, what really changed my life, would be that, that kind of things, learning the, the principles of being an athlete, the principles of being a dancer, the principles of being a leader. And I wanted a way to give back and Gen 7 kind of, I guess, landed on my lap and I was like, you know, this is something I could use to give back to the youth and give back to my community as well. I think I could impact youth from really telling my story. Maybe I could connect with them in a certain way through my struggles that I've been through. They could take that, and if I could be a little sliver in their success story, that'd be really cool. That you know, they they maybe might remember me. You know, saying if, uh, if it wasn't for you know hearing just, just that one word or being a part of that activity, that you know I don't think my life would have been changed. You know, to have youth come up to me and kind of say that stuff, because I know there's people in my life that even just my gym teacher was my first track and field coach, only t had to believe in me and show me that he believed in me. It really helped me in my life to succeed. That's something that I would like to leave with communities and kids and people who are wanting success too. All right, if I was able to travel back and talk to my younger self, uh, definitely tell myself the importance of uh, creating and maintaining good habits, so like just the habit of working out every day and the habit of eating healthy and the habit of um, living a positive lifestyle, you know, which mainly I do, but it's just a habit where it doesn't, I don't have to think about it, it's already habitual, it's a habit that I maintain and it's something that I'm really um, changing in my life right now, so really get those habits down. I don't have to think twice about eating healthy, I don't have to think twice about working out. And something I wish I had started earlier. <laughs>